Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Angel Souls, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for the week beginning December 30th. So, Happy New Year! Here it is, 2014. We've been talking about it quite incessantly, <laughs> which is good, good, because we're getting to that nice um, upper class state where we're getting closer to graduation. So, um, it should be, whoa, kind of a rewarding time. Okay, I guess when you drop like four or five cards, I think that just means I, I dropped the deck. I keep doing that because I'm chatting too much. Anyway, let me just keep shuffling really quick and then I will get to your reading, I promise. Okay. Hope you guys are recovering okay from all the holidays. Be nice to just sort of kick back, relax a little bit. <laughs> okay, first card up, compassion. And this is Archangel Zadkiel, and it says, soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Um, last couple of weeks of December were tough energies, and it is quite possible that there have been some family rifts. I feel like some of you aren't directly involved in these, but you were sort of like, witnessing it and then somebody wanted you to take sides okay and then you wanted to remain neutral so so that you didn't get in the middle of it and now somebody's accusing you of being you know too neutral and and not taking a stand Zadkiel is saying have compassion and understand where everybody's coming from when when there's a riff everybody feels like they need support that's why we're always trying to get somebody on our side right because you truly are in a vulnerable state in a moment like that. So this is asking you to have compassion for everybody, okay? And they're also saying have compassion and understanding towards people who um, uh, who just, again, we're going back to these poor people who aren't awake yet, you know what I mean? Like have compassion towards everybody who just isn't where you are right now. Let's put it that way. I think that's the best way to put it. <laughs> and just leave it that way and not push so hard. Yeah, they're saying take it easy on yourself now, okay? You don't need to save the world. You, you can take a break from saving the world <laughs> and being the superheroes that you are. This is also about having compassion on... Um, sorry, there's just a lot coming through about this card, so just give me a second. Compassion towards um, situations. So not losing your temper when things aren't going exactly the way you want them to. And you could easily lose your temper in January because you're probably tired. You know, you're just, there's a lot going on towards the end of a year. And um, coming into that new year <laughs> can be really exhausting and you could have a short fuse. Okay, so this is just reminding you just to, as we go in, take it easy, breathe, do your thing, do whatever makes you happy. Okay, so long as you can remember the compassion. Whatever makes you do that, rock it out. Okay, next card, counselor. This is Archangel Azrael. You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, this is interesting that this is coming right after that um, compassion card. So some of you might be playing mediator. Yeah, I'm sorry to report that. Who wants to get involved with other people's stuff like that? You know what I mean? But you're being what they're saying is that you're being pulled in for good reason. Sorry, I guess you can't see it very well. There it is. Um, because you are the one who can help the situation. That's why you're being pulled in. And people know that you're very fair. They know that you're um, level-headed. Most of you. Maybe not all of you. <laughs> but... Um, you are the neutral party in this situation. I'm sorry, you might get pulled in. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess in a grander sense, if you were sitting there listening to this going, this doesn't make any sense. Da, 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 da. Anyway, when, when something doesn't make sense to you, but you're still compelled to listen to the message, don't dismiss it, okay? Too often people go, well, that doesn't make any sense to me, so I'm just gonna let it go. No. <laughs> No, if it if it really didn't resonate with you, you would have turned off the video. So if you're still listening to it and you're going, this doesn't make sense to me, just hang on to it for a while. 
It'll click. You'll get a synchronicity later on or something that brings you back to this point. Okay, so the next card. Prosperity. We got this a couple weeks ago. It's still flowing. I like it. Who doesn't want a little prosperity in their life? Okay, and it's Archangel Ariel. Okay, the uh, nature angel. Um, she handles material things, material comforts in your life. Okay, so she's giving us the message that prosperity is rolling in. What a nice gift for right in the beginning of the year. So it says, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Remember what we were getting last week. And actually the week before, it was go now. Self-employment. Um, you're protected. Don't doubt yourself. Watch your thoughts. And here's more confirmation. When you follow your life's path, the money will follow. And I think we talked about that last week where I said that um, a lot of people get life path and career mixed up and they get even a little feisty about it. They're like, but what happens in my career? Why do you care? <laughs> if we're coming up on the time where it's time for you to get in alignment and follow your life's path, why aren't you doing that? Wouldn't you like that better? Wouldn't you be happier doing that? You know, why are you going to waste your time worrying you know, if you're going to get to be a vice president, what does a title matter? Seriously, is that the end goal? The title? The money? What happens if both those get yanked away? What do you have left? Do you feel good about what you do? These are the things that you really have to start thinking about. And when you find the right answers and it all clicks together, the money comes flowing in. All right, you got to be smart about it though, okay? That's what they're saying. Like, too many people just sort of, um, they're not listening to all the message. They hear the surface of the message, they quit their jobs, they run out there and they're like, I'm open for business. I sell apples, okay? But now you don't have a business plan. <laughs> you know, it's like that sort of thing. Like, you got to like really think about, you know, your business before you try to start it, okay? Make sure you have all the pieces there before you go and make the leap. But they're saying, go ahead and start assembling the pieces. Create this new reality for you because abundance and love and prosperity, th that those are an endless supply. Those are the gifts of God to human beings. So you're entitled to have some of it. But, but you, gotta, you gotta figure out your life's lessons first Get in alignment and then get on that path. Okay? Last card. <laughs> you know what to do. And it's Archangel Uriel. And he says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. I kind of feel like that's just like the perfect ending <laughs> to this reading. Okay? Start following your instincts. Listen to your intuition. You already know the steps you need to take. You know what you don't know. Right? Right? So even in that sense, you know what steps you need to take. You know what you need to do to get the information you need. Okay? And you might be sitting, I'm already feeling, people are sitting there going, I don't have money for a startup. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You don't have money for a startup, you think? Be, you'd be amazed at where you could find money. You know, you could have some account that you forgot about. Or there could be something that you could do on the side to kind of, you know, get some material needs met while you start your your actual business or something okay but they're just saying don't give up don't just throw your hands up in the air and go I don't know it doesn't work okay because then what's gonna happen you're gonna be reaching out to me for a reading going why is it my career working <laughs> I may not even take your money I may just be like here's a refund go watch my weeklies that's why <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so pretty positive, but strong and intense message. I know it's kind of, you might be a little weary and you don't want to hear the strong, intense message, but there it is. And yeah, if the angels thought that you couldn't handle it, they, they wouldn't have given it to you. Okay. So be confident, love yourself, be good to yourself. All right. Take care and I'll see you later.